Hello, how's everyone doing today? I'm Daniel Rothschild, and I'm just going to recommend some uh, libertarian movies. If uh, you're bored and want things to do, uh, here are some of my favorite uh, movies, which I consider very libertarian. Uh, the first one on the list uh, is an excellent Spanish film called In a Glass Cage. Uh, I believe it came out in 1987. It's directed by Augustine Villaranga, and it is about a... Uh, Nazi doctor who tries to commit suicide uh, after the years after the war, uh, and he fails, and he has to live in an iron lung, and he's completely immobile. And his wife hires a nurse to take care of him, and the nurse turns out to be one of his um, surviving victims during the war, who decides to reenact all the atrocities that this Nazi doctor committed in front of his face, and it's a really powerful and great movie about the cyclical nature uh, of abuse, uh, and I really recommend watching it. Uh, another very excellent movie uh, is Palindromes, directed by Todd Salance. Palindromes is about a 12-year-old girl who wants more than anything else in the world to become a mother, and she decides to get pregnant. Uh, and what's really great about this movie is that it shows both sides of the abortion debate, um, sort of similar uh, to the movie Citizen Ruth, but it's a much better movie in my opinion, and uh, it shows the hypocrisy on both It's a movie uh, of moral complexity. It's a very, very good movie. Uh, it's called Palindromes, and I recommend it uh, highly. Third uh, must-see movie uh, is a recent movie, uh, Compliance, which is based on a true story. Uh, and I won't reveal much of it, but it's very similar to the uh, Stanford Milgram experiments. Uh, another libertarian movie I recommend is a German film. It's called Das Experiment, and it is based on the Stanford prison experiments that were conducted in the 1970s. Uh, another, uh, it's a documentary that I recommend is Killing by Joshua Oppenheimer and that is about these um, movie theater gangsters who in Cambodia uh, were hired to uh, do ethnic cleansing where they murdered millions of people. And because of all the propaganda, they're viewed as heroes in Cambodia. And the director of the film asks them to reenact uh, the killings that they did in a movie genre of their choice to which they agree. Another uh, documentary that I recommend watching, which is also very highly libertarian, is called Waco, The Rules of Engagement. It's a very, very powerful uh, three-hour movie about the government fuck-up and cover-up of Waco. Another movie which I recommend is called Underground. It's directed by Amir Costa Rica. It is a Serbian-Croatian film, and it is about um, an arms manufacturer who, who uh, lies to his brother uh, about the war not ending, and it's about the break of the Yugoslavia, and it's just a very, very brilliantly done and well uh, done um, uh, dark comedy. Uh, another uh, highly libertarian movie that I recommend is a movie called um, Savior. It's with Dennis Quaid. It's a very powerful film. It's a, another war movie, and I recommend it. Um, I also recommend, uh, and this is a double package, because it's both of these are Italian movies directed by Lena Vertmuller. One is called Swept Away, and the other is called Seven Beauties. Um, Seven Beauties is a fantastic film about a guy uh, who is willing to do anything in order to survive World War II. Uh, and, and when I mean anything, anything, uh, including uh, seducing a uh, uh, fat, unattractive, uh, Nazi concentration camp guards. A very well done uh, movie. Another uh, libertarian movie that I recommend uh, very highly is um, one of my favorite movies of all time. It's a very powerful movie. Uh, it's called Mysterious Skin. It's with Ghost Joseph Gordon Levitt. Great film about um, uh, child abuse and about memory and how we interpret the past and it's a really powerful, powerful uh, and, and very well done movie. That's called Mysterious Skin directed by Gregor Rocky. Um, 
And uh, I think that's pretty much it for my list, uh, uh, unfortunately, because um, <laughs> the film industry is not populated by many libertarians, which is why a lot of the films on my list were foreign films. But um, those are uh, some good ones that I recommend. Oh, sorry, there's another movie that I forgot. Uh, and this is a really great movie. It's called Fury, directed by Fritz Lang. Uh, it's with Spencer Tracy, and it's um, basically a critique against a mob of violence. Uh, and it's a really very powerful movie. Uh, uh, I guess that's it for the list. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any movies you'd like to recommend, please uh, let me know in the comment section, because I'm always interested in new stuff to see as well. All right, take care.